Football Friday Night Power Poll, and I suspect this is going to change. Look for Real Rancho to move up into that number one position. Quaver rounding out the top 13. Our United Blood Services Play of the Week, quarterback Agi Larnaga rolling out the pocket and throwing on the run, hitting Adrian Ornelas, who kept, keeps his feet under him and goes in for the score. And that would be tonight's game, St. Capital and West Las Vegas playing. Welcome back. The winner tonight feels the thrill of victory for the first time this season. Kirtland Central Broncos and Los Alamos Hilltoppers winless with the guarantee of one team breaking through. And it was homecoming for the Hilltoppers, so would it be their night? How about this? Sloppy play early. Quarterback Nicholas Conteri fumbles. Kirtland Central picks up the ball, and then Davison Wyatt decides, you know what? I'm going to give this right back. Oh, yeah. Gives the ball right back to Los Alamos. Very next play then, still getting sloppy. How about this? Muff punt, ball bounces off. And Los Alamos taking advantage. Lining up near the two yard line where they punch it in for the score. Curlin Central's gonna get the ball back and try to make something happen and they do. How about Wyatt? The long touchdown pass coming up. And that my friend, it would be Darvin Dempsey going into the end zone. Curlin up 17 to 6 at that point. They go on to win the score, the game, 24 to 6. More high school football scores now. Piedra Vista better than Moriarty. And look at that, the Rue blanking. Navajo Pine. The Socorro Warriors at the Laguna Acoma Hawks tonight. Let's have a look at those highlights. Warriors. Oh, yeah. One fan really excited about this game. Ryan Archie to Tony Marino for the Laguna game. And once, you know, in the tees, I told you, you could get a good burger in Laguna. That's a true story. I think he had one. Getting the ball and moving the chains, keeping the fans interested. Then it would be Archie dropping back. After he dropped the ball, picked it back up, almost ran in for a touchdown. You know what? If you want to get in the end zone, get the ball to David McGee, and he would have the next touchdown that was coming up. He rushed for 286 yards. Three touchdowns, Laguna won it 40 to eight. As far as Saturday games, here are the games that are coming up Saturday. If you don't have anything to do or if you just want to go see some good football, there's your selection starting at the top with Bernalillo at St. Pius. Vaughn, Ward, and Wagon Mountain, I guess they're brothers now, hooking up together on the scoreboard, on the uh, schedule that is. That game starting at 1 p.m. in Roy. For us, it's a wrap. New Mexico Football Friday is complete for another week. We'll see you next time.